the people of Sabulban Akundalo has organized this sit-in protest to protest against the killing, the brutal killing of two students, two innocent lives, two kids, two minors. And I don't think this is a easy or I don't think this is a simple process that we have to go through. We demand the government to please return the two bodies. The parents are not able to sleep. Please let them at least get the peace by receiving the bodies of the two students. And we also request media do not just look through at us through a lens. Please do not succumb to one narrative, one biased narrative. We are not asking you to take sides. We are asking you to look at the truth. Yes, we have our story. They might have their story. They will have their own story. But there is also another story. There is the truth. And I don't think we can erase the truth. Everyone is struggling. Everyone is dying and we are not able to get the basic needs. So therefore, I request everyone to please understand this, to please let's see what we can do to end this war. We do want peace. We do not want anything that will bring destruction to our motherland. This is the place. Let us bring peace. Let us see. Let us build another. Let us build a society where we can live together in peace. So, please make sure the bodies are returned and please make sure the mothers sleep in peace. The Mirapairis of the society are not able to sleep at night and I think you might have seen. So, we also ask every media all around the world, we ask them to ensure us peace and to bring uh, and the government to let, uh, to let them return the two bodies of the two students, two innocent kids. My name is Teresa Devi Arampur. So today is the 1st of October and our state has been burning for five months. Our state, our motherland. And we request the state government as well as the central government to take immediate actions to end this war. Many people are dying and many lives are lost. As you see, we have our mothers here. They haven't slept. We haven't slept. There is fear and we are struggling even today. So, we request the government to take immediate actions regarding this war.